How's it going everybody? So I'm back again with another video for you guys today. This time I'm doing an unboxing, not a movie review or anything like that, because I got my Zobi box in the mail today. You know, I love just, I just love to how fast these things come just because I'm not a very patient person. So, you know, this opened a couple days ago and I already have it in my possession less than a week. So let's just dive into this. Well, before I dive into it, the themes were Batman, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Dodgeball, Venom, which I just reviewed. If you want to check out my little spoiler-free review for that, I actually just posted that last night. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. And uh, Beetlejuice was the other one. So let's just dive into this. I see I, there, I see there's some pink paper. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month now. I keep forgetting it's October because my birthday is in October. But, uh, okay, this is a ball. <laughs> this feels like a ball. I mean, it's, it's not inflated, but... This is a this is average Joe's. This is the dodgeball item, I believe. Let me let me just get this out of this packaging real quick. So, yeah, that's a ball. That's a that's a dodgeball. So it's an average Joe's dodgeball. I mean, if you ever if you're familiar with the movie Dodgeball, I mean, this is freaking awesome. Just because you know dodgeball, average Joe's, and I guess there's oh yeah, there's a pen and a needle if you want if I want to blow it up and I guess display it or get it signed by people from the movie or throw it at somebody. I mean. Although that's probably not like the recommended thing you should do with this, but that's pretty cool. That's definitely a unique item to get in a, in a, in a subscription box because when you think subscription boxes and props, replicas, and all that stuff, you don't think a dodgeball. But that's really unique. I like that. Okay, so next up we have the pin, which I had saw because they did a whole little Facebook Live thing where they revealed this, and I actually ended up getting the variant pin. It is Venom, you know, from the movie Venom. It's the variant pin out of 100, I believe it was. Yeah, it's Tom Hardy, you know, half Tom Hardy, half Venom. You see that scene in the trailer. Uh, okay, let me let me uh, do a little quick cut and see which uh, number I get this pin on. Okay, so out of 100, I got 42, which is still cool because it's a very limited pin, and I'm actually glad that... I know they just started doing these variant pins. I've slowly... I used to not like pins as much, but I've slowly been liking pins more and more, and definitely this is probably one of my new favorite pins out of, like, the dozens of pins I have in a box over here that I haven't put up yet. Definitely solid. Venom as a film, though, I mean, you'll find out if you want to check out my review, but it's it's an interesting film. Okay, so next up, we got a little thank you from JR. I actually really love this poster of Venom. It's from the Japanese poster for the film. I actually was looking for it at Baltimore Comic Con this last weekend, but I couldn't find it, so I actually had to settle for this poster from, you know, the Venom poster, so... Yeah, I mean, I was really looking for that poster for Japan, the Japanese Venom, but I love the little thank you cards that you guys do. You know, I really like those. You know, they're a little nice personal touch. But moving on, I see a pack of cards. Okay, this is the Batman item. This is the more cards, because they did cards in the last one with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In this one, we got Batman 89 cards, which is, uh, which is unique. And it says, you know, nine cards, one sticker, one stick of bubble gum. I, I have a feeling that that bubble gum is not meant to be eaten because this film came out in 1989. It's 2018, so this this bubble gum is like 30 years old almost. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll break into these. Yeah, the uh, the gum looks, seems a little uh, stale and broken in there, so I'm definitely probably not going to eat that. We got we're moving on to the prints. Okay, so this is the print because it's Beetlejuice. I actually really like the vibrant colors. I actually just recently bought uh, Beetlejuice on Steelbook. It's back there somewhere. So, spoiler alert for my Blu-ray haul video. But, you know, I just recently rewatched this. So, I'm actually, like, even more in love with this print. I mean, I really like the prints that they've done so far between the ones I've gotten from Fright Pack and the Zobie Box. So, another nice print to add to my collection of prints I have. And just a great movie. I definitely recommend this film for anybody that loves horror, or, you know, kind of grotesque stuff in October. Of course, now we're on to the autograph in the box, because each box comes with a JSA certified autograph, so you know it's legit. And it is... Okay. Wow. That's uh, Edward Furlong, I believe. You know, for, I, you all know I love Terminator 2. You know who I am, you know I love Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It's actually one of my favorite films of all time, so I recognize this from a mile away. So this is a really nice picture. I just love this picture of all of them. And, you know, obviously you got, you know, Sarah Connor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the T-800... Robert Patrick's in the background is the T-1000, and then you got Edward Furlong, so this is actually, like, when I think of autographs, when it comes to, like, people that do conventions and all that stuff, like, Robert Patrick was just here, like, a weekend ago, because uh, M Monster Mania was the same weekend as Baltimore Comic Con, so I couldn't really, I didn't really want to do both, so I chose Baltimore Comic Con, 
So, but uh, I could have got Robert Patrick. So that's what I was thinking when they were revealing all these people that do conventions and they don't do conventions very often. That's why this was like a more hardly sought out autograph. I was thinking, okay, it probably wasn't Robert Patrick if it was going to be, you know, guessing the themes and all that. So that's actually really cool. I'm definitely, that's another one that's going to go up on the wall. Cause I mean, I'll probably put it somewhere over here. Cause I already put up Tom Zavini and the, uh, the creeper autograph I got somewhere down there. I think it fell though. <laughs> But uh, this is great. This is probably my favorite item of the whole box, actually. I mean, that's cliche as it sounds because it's an autograph, but this was definitely probably my favorite item just because, you know, Edward Furlong's iconic as far as this film. And I also really liked him in Brain Scan, another very underrated film. I definitely recommend you check out Brain Scan as well. But this is great. So overall, this was a great box for paying only 40 bucks. I mean, this box with shipping is, you know, a little under 50 bucks, actually. So you're getting your money's worth, I mean, just with this. I mean, then you also got the Dodgeball... You know, some really great art prints and some pins. I mean, you can't go wrong for this price. But those are just my quick thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the box or if you plan on getting your box or you're, you know, you're not planning on getting your box. Let me know. Either way. But uh, thanks so much for checking out my little, you know, unboxing video for the Zobie box this month. Uh, feel free to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my unboxings, movie reviews, Blu-ray hauls, and more. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.